Hi guys and welcome back to episode 3 of my fly tying events or, and shows here on YouTube and of course, as I mentioned before, if you want to see these lives, they're, I'm live every Friday until the 26th of February on my Facebook page and you will find the link in the description here and you will also find links to my website or blog post where you can read in detail a little bit more about my experience with these flies. Today we're gonna use a little bit different kind of materials because we're gonna tie coastal flies and our focus is to make uh, efficient fishing flies as simple as possible and we're focusing on shrimps. Shrimp patterns are very commonly used for uh, sea trout fishing or we, here in Sweden and Denmark and Norway as well we fish a lot of uh, we put a lot of time on the coast, fishing the coastal line for sea running brown trout. So it's brown trout, salmo trout that we're fishing after in the coast, on the coastal areas. And of course it's a little bit different if you're not used to that type of fishing. It's pretty rough, windy, waves, you have to cover big areas to, uh, to find this trout. Sometimes you get lucky and find them right away, other times you need to put in a lot of effort. But it's a beautiful fish and it's a very fun way to fish. And of course these shrimp patterns that we will tie today can be used for other species as well uh, that are eating uh, shrimps and crayfish. You can just add to it if you want to change it for a different style of fishing. Okay, the first out of two flies this episode we will tie is this one. It's a very simple dubbing shrimp. And the second one we will tie is one with a little bit of hackle and fox hair in it. Uh, this is a black nickel shrimp or streamer hook with a straight eye. I like these for most of my coastal streamers. And I'm using a 80 white thread. The white thread is easy to hide in most uh, bright color materials. And I'm wrapping the thread where the uh, and stopping where the bend of the hook bend starts most cases it is in alignment with the needle of the hook not always but look for that and then you know that you don't uh, you're not going too far down so the first material that i will add is a little bit of blended ice stub any dubbing with a little bit bright color will do here Taking it so, pinching it with my thing, finger and thumb, and as usual, I'm spinning around until I see it's stuck there, like so. This will work a little bit less a striking point or the the eggs that the shrimp keeps in the head before it releases them, but it looks good whether it works or not. Next step is taking. A uh, feather of mallard, like so. What I'm doing here now, I'm creating a little bit of the mouth area of the shrimp. I'm pulling off this, or cutting off. I'm just placing it on like so. Wrapping it in, and all the way down to that dubbing edge again. Now we'll take a little bit of STF dubbing, light olive done, which most of us consider is a sort of gray. Just a little bit, and then I'm twisting it in my fingers. This will make it easier to spin around. And the reason why I'm adding that little dubbing here is because the next step is adding shrimp eyes. In this case it is easy shrimp eyes, very simple to tie with. You just put them on like so. Make sure if you're tying on a different hook, if it, if it would be going past the needle you will have to cut it. Just make sure it's on your spot like there. And then start wrapping it all the way to the front lock it and then back again 
if you want the eyes to point out more you can do this that you're going in between pulling it out a little bit like this remember when you're adding more materials to it it will squeeze together so you don't want it to be too narrow in between here all right next step continue with the stf dubbing this fly is as i mentioned a very simple one and what i'm gonna do here is i'm taking this dubbing but i'm gonna create a wing by spinning it a little bit and then slowly pull out and then uh, add it again pull out add again this can continue to be a uh, uh, all night work but as soon as you see that it's not that much coming out you're done and as you see now we have created a wing which i will tie just to the edge of the those shrimp eyes attaching it now i go up until the middle somewhere locking it and going back to where i attached it in the first place once again sdf dub taking this out like so twist spinning around a little bit in my fingers to make it easier to work with then i'm just pinching it here a few laps there it's stuck then i keep moving forward the reason why i uh, tied this one all the way up in here is now i have that wing ready so i can just fold it back and attach it as you can see i now created two wings in one thanks to that uh, that technique or that step taking a little bit more dubbing twist it like so pinch it wrap it around and all the way to the eye of the hook if you want the uh, fly or the shrimp to be a little bit more bulky you can take yet another thin wing like so attaching it one let's see one two three four and then fold it there we go take my loctite glue a little bit on the thread there you can see that it's creating you have small tiny pearls on the thread that means that the glue is where it should be there we go and cut and then you squeeze that in so it doesn't cure when it's pointing out take your little brush here and just comb those wings a little bit together to see how the fly looks very very simple shrimp pattern as you can see it creates a very nice look from most angles very very simple fly at the time that was the first one stf dubbing shrimp the next shrimp same as last time i'm attaching the thread on the eye and then i go all the way down to that bend which in this case is aligned with the needle of the hook most of the times it is uh, taking the blended eye stub making that little striking point just a little bit like so pinching it and a few laps to see it gets attached properly and I'm taking a little bit STF dub. The reason why I'm adding a little bit here is once again for the eyes, the shrimp eyes. I want them to point out a little bit. So this little piece of dubbing here will help that. Is your shrimp eyes or any other shrimp eyes that you have, place those towards the edge there and then wrap it all the way down 
secure it a little bit here and then back again make sure to stop winding the thread just on that edge there if you keep going back you will squeeze those eyes together okay now we'll use the fox hair silver gray natural color this is a little bit too long for this fly but so you'll need to if this is your case then you will need to do some work here remove a little bit excess here still a little bit too thick and too long so i'm still removing and shaping this wing or this is the legs and tentacles of the shrimp or whatever you want to call it uh, uh, remove it like so and then measure look over it then i'm pinching it i want this to be tied in somewhat flat and i'll show you what i mean when i'm done with this cut that off then all the way back here on the top if you hold it too much together it will be very slim i want this to be a little bit wider or broader profile like so so i'm making sure that those fibers does not get too much pinched together there you go next step is taking a rooster feather a rooster cape and you can see where i'm taking most of the feathers for these kinds of flies you will get a somewhat uh, spay hackle substitute if you choose your rooster capes wisely normally i will tie it in in the tip because as you can see you have shorter fibers here and longer here so if you're tying a woolly bugger or similar you want the hackle to be uh, the longest in the front and then slowly slimming down uh, a shrimp has its most body mass around its head so i'm tying this one in in different uh, or in the opposite uh, angle because I want the hackle to be longer here and then slowly or gradually getting slimmer so I'm just putting that one on the side here and I don't cut any of the materials off really as you can see I wrap everything down this creates a little bit more even surface for me to work with next step I will use 0 16 millimeter nylon this is my ribbing i only want to have ribbing on this fly out of durability and strength this will make the fly last longer so i'm just tying that one in on the side there all the way back down okay now all the preparation work is done now it's time to make that body with dubbing once again i don't use the traditional dubbing technique and if you're interested to see this a little bit more in detail i have a old uh, youtube video showing those dubbing techniques let's spin that around and now on this fly you're gonna add a hackle and ribbing so don't worry about the durability of this this lasts and it is very strong saves you both time and money first wrap here are pretty close to each other because I want it to be more volume here and then I'm slowly going forward with even laps to create a nice segmentation as well of the body there take your thread lock that with two turns before you take and cut that off like so now the ribbing needs to go in the opposite direction so the hackle went that way the ribbing needs to go towards you to make this fly stronger so be a little bit uh, careful or focused doing this otherwise you will just 
push all those uh, hackle fibers down. So take your thread like so, a couple of laps, and then if you really want to secure this nylon, you can also fold it back, adding a few extra thread wraps. So take your Loctite or quick super glue. I never use any whip finish or anything. Just make sure that you're getting those pearls there. Hold back any material and then make five, six laps or so and then cut off. While this is still a little bit wet, make sure to pinch in that little piece of thread that's sticking out after you cut it. Then you take your brush, brush it a little bit, or a lot. The fly should withstand this. If, if things are falling off or breaking, there is something that's not correctly tied, or you haven't tightened the, uh, the different parts enough. Alright, this is also a very simple way to tie a shrimp. You can see you get a very nice profile of that. You can add a back to that if you want to. If you want to create an even more good looking shrimp out of our perspective. But when it goes comes to fishing, this will definitely do the work. And then of course we have the even easier and faster one. With just dubbing. 